From the audience to the stage, Howie Mandel's golden buzzer made waves on America's Got Talent. But did you know she's already pretty famous? Hey guys, it's Corey, and today I'm going to break down everything America's Got Talent didn't tell you about the viral 11-year-old singer Madison Taylor Baez. Number one, Madison is also an actress. Although AGT producers made her seem like she's just an ordinary girl hoping to be picked out of the audience, she's actually a well-known actress. She made her Netflix debut in 2020 with Selena the series, playing the role of young Selena. The show's inaugural debut drew in 30 million viewers, and soon after, Madison received great reviews for her portrayal. Rolling down on my face. Within the show, Madison was the only cast member to sing her own songs in both English and Spanish. You need to learn to sing like that. Like a man? Oh, in Spanish. I don't know Spanish. Besides the Netflix series, the young singer has been featured in 13 national commercials with major brands. Number two, she gained recognition from singing at sporting events. Madison's nickname is America's number one anthem girl because she first gained recognition for her Star Spangled Banner renditions. Or the land of the free. Before AGT, she has performed in sold out stadiums and arenas for the Los Angeles, Dodgers, Rams, Lakers, Kings, Galaxy, and Harlem Globetrotters. Besides sports, she's also appeared at several high-profile charity events. Number three, her father introduced her to the piano and singing. Maddie's father introduced her to music at the age of three. She then learned to play piano and develop her vocal range by singing hundreds of songs on shuffle. I would sneak into his iTunes and listen to all of his Motown music. Oh, Motown, his, uh, yeah. His 60s and 70s music. Taking it back. Her music choices range from Motown to some of today's biggest hits by artists like Bruno Mars, Megan Trainor, Charlie Puth, and more. One Christmas, Madison's father gifted her a small pink electric piano. Her family notes that her piano playing began as banging on random keys, but became music in about a week. Her parents later bought her a baby grand piano for their home. From there, Madison taught herself to play and read sheet music. Number four, she sang to her father throughout his cancer battle. A few months before Madison's fourth birthday, her father was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. I would help my dad with uh, cancer research. Um, he had stage four colon cancer for the past nine years. Soon after his diagnosis, Madison began singing to her father throughout his hospital stays, years of chemo treatments, and multiple surgeries. Her voice developed through the pain of watching her father fight cancer to the joy of her father's healing. My dad has been battling stage four colon cancer ever since I was three years old. And I would sing to him throughout all of his treatments in the hospital. Even though Madison mentioned that her father is still struggling with the disease, her website states that he is cancer free and enjoying every moment of his daughter's music. How is your dad now? Oh, he's a lot better. He's cancer free. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yo. I've been battling cancer for the last nine years, and that's how she learned to sing. She would sing to me at the hospital throughout my, all my surgeries and, and helping me get better, and I'm doing very well. Number five, America's Got Talent isn't her first competition show. Madison appeared on ABC's Kids Say the Darndest Things, as well as Fox's Game of Talents. Within each series, she impressed with her powerful vocals. On these shows, she sang Listen by Beyonce and Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers. Ain't no sunshine. In 2019, she appeared as a contestant in the China's Got Talent finale. Number six, she's a part of Showtime's new show, Let the Right One In. In 2021, it was announced that Madison will star in Showtime's new series, Let the Right One In. Within the series, she plays the role of Eleanor. The narrative features Eleanor and her father living in the shadows and committing shameful acts to keep her alive after she was bitten by a mysterious creature. When they return to New York City, she meets a friend who reignites her desire to regain her humanity. 
This series does not have a release date just yet. Number seven, she has her own holiday album. In 2020, Maddie released her debut album, Blingo Bells. The 11 track album features classic tunes like Please Come Home From Christmas, Feliz Navidad, and others. In 2021, she sang Blingo Bells at Universal CityWalk Hollywood. So what do you guys think about Madison Taylor Baez? Do you think she'll make it into the AGT finale? Let me know how you really feel in the comments down below. And while you're still on YouTube, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Follow Talent Recap on all social media platforms and check out our website, talentrecap.com. If you guys want to follow me, I'm at Corey Caesar on Instagram and at Kinda Corey on TikTok. And now you know what's hot.